Oh, damn. Okay, I think we have... I think we have, uh... I think we have our three. Wait, am I playing as... the wrong character? Uh, oh, it's still my face, huh? Let's play a game. Check out this game. All right. Why is there no sound anymore? There used to be sound on this. Jesus, guys, what am I doing? There we are. Okay. Uh. Oh shit, there's a timer! There's a timer on the turn. Okay, so this is gonna be super fun. Am I- <laughs> I might be the only one who knows how to play this game. Which is great. That puts me in exactly the position that I am hoping to be in. Uh, and I am... Uh, I'm Bell, I guess? Okay. Great. So, uh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Okay. Alright. Cult Express is the digital version of a board game, uh, where... What's, what's happening? Is it my turn still? No, okay. Uh, where, um, we are all train robbers, Old West, uh, uh, bad guys, uh, and we are trying to, uh, steal as much as we can from this train. Uh, and we do that in a series of rounds. So, down here in the bottom left, you can see, uh, there's these four cards that represent uh, four four rounds. Uh, I actually I'm, no, that's that's probably not right. It's four 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 something. I don't know the terminology that they like to use. Uh, but um, uh, you know, we're on the fourth card now. Four cards. Uh, so in order, we each choose one card from our hand. And, uh, and lay it down. And then we are going to go through all of these cards and resolve them. So we'll have sort of like, we'll each have four cards that we get to resolve. Uh, and then there's five rounds. So that those four cards are all part of the first round. So the first phase of the first round is we all choose cards. And then we've played those cards and, uh, and you know, we don't get to change them. But phase two of the first round is now we get to uh, resolve those cards. And sometimes there are choices. Uh, so, for example, the movement card, I play a movement card, and that lets me move either left or right to the next car on the train. But I get to choose in the moment uh, which way to actually do it. Whereas the, the up-down, the vertical card... Uh, there's no choice associated with that. If you're on a roof, you go into the car. If you're in the car, you go onto the roof. So there's some things that I get to, that, uh, that play out sort of, uh, inevitably. And there's some things that, um, that happen. Okay. So here, for example, uh, this is Jesse. Jesse is, um, uh, Jesse played a gun and uh, there was no one for him to shoot. Uh, same for me. I played a gun and there's no one for me to shoot because... Uh, you can't shoot somebody in the same car. You can only shoot people in adjacent cars. And I think only, like, one car adjacent. Oh, no, 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 sorry, that was Jester. Jester tried to shoot, and there was nobody for him to shoot either. Uh, now, Jesse is, uh, is able to move the marshal. Uh, and can decide sort of which direction the marshal moves. The marshal is bad news for anybody who's inside of a car. Uh, because, uh, he will shoot you, um, but he can't ever go on the roof. So if you're on the roof, then you're relatively safe from the marshal. Okay, so that was round one, right? So we played four cards. We all ended up in different places. I got some treasure. Jester got some treasure. Uh, and, um, and now we do it again. And this round, there's only three cards. Oh, no, no, that's not true. I think there's four cards, but we choose two cards in the middle. All right, what am I doing? I don't want to go down because the sheriff is there. I want to go... Uh, oh, I want to go get that suitcase. 
So there's a, can you see my mouse? Yeah. There's a suitcase in the, in the engine car. Uh, and that is super, super, um, it's a lot of money. So I'm going to head over there and then I'm going to go down and then I'm going to steal. And that's going to be like my sequence of moves. And I'm going to hope, I'm going to pray to God that like nobody moves the sheriff one car forward while I'm doing this or, um, you know, hopefully nobody shoots me or anything like that would be bad, but shooting me wouldn't actually prevent me from doing what I'm doing. Somebody else could go and steal that before me, potentially, uh, in which case um, I'd be screwed. So I have to keep track mentally of where my character is in this. Oh, and then I go again. Got it. I'm glad I'm paying attention. So uh, now I've moved. I'm going to move over here. I'm going to move down. I'm going to steal this thing. Uh, and then I'm probably going to try to move the sheriff, right? Um, and, and like mess with Jester. Although I'm sure that Jester won't be here anymore when I do it, right? Um, so anyway, that's, this is the game. This is how the game works. This is me. I'm going to move the marshal. Okay. And so, again, now we've gone through the, the scheming. You can see down here, scheming. We've gone through the scheming phase of the second round. Now we go into the uh, stealing phase of the second round, where we actually resolve all of those cards. And we're going to go back through the cards exactly as we laid them down. This is a programming game, This is uh, which is a classic uh, mechanic in board games. Um, uh, I say classic, it's, you know, it, it, it's actually not expressed that frequently, but this is a really good example of a programming game. Um, there's another game called, uh, Dragons and Flagons, uh, that I haven't played, but I've heard really good things about. There's, um, uh, the, the classic example is like Robo Rally, right? Robo Rally is all about programming actions for your robots and then hoping that something doesn't fuck them up in the meantime. Uh... Yeah, programming games. So add this to the list of programming games that we've played on Play by Play. Uh, okay, so now I'm gonna steal this briefcase, uh, which is good for me. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Jesse is gonna find out the hard way uh, that you don't wanna end up in a car with the sheriff, right? Okay, so Jesse just got shot, which doesn't do anything bad to Jesse right now, but it, um, it adds a bullet card to his deck. Uh, and I obviously don't want to move the sheriff into my car, so I'm going to move in the other direction. Um, it puts a bullet card into his deck and he has a chance now in the next, uh, in the next round, in round three, uh, when he gets his hand of cards, those are all randomly drawn from his deck. Uh, and it's possible that uh, he will get a um, bullet, uh, and the bullet card is just a useless card. So it's some, he just doesn't get any benefit from it. All right, here's my strategy. I'm going to go for this gem, I think. So I'm going to move first, like that. Uh, oh, okay, so, um, and then I'm going to steal, um, so the other thing that's going on here that having only played this game once or twice, uh, I really, like, can't, I don't, I, I can't tell you everything about. Uh, is that we are all playing characters and all of the characters have special abilities. I have no idea what my special ability is. Um, but uh, I can tell you Jesse, the Crafty Bunny's special ability, uh, is that he always plays his cards face down. Um, when we are playing our cards, like, I'm, I'm too distracted and, and just getting used to this. Oh no, that's not true. Maybe he plays the first card of the round face down. Something about playing face down. Because uh, 
most of the time we play our cards face up. I know that Doc played a card that's going to move left or right. So he's like going somewhere. What was the last card that I played? Um, except in the tunnel. So you can see this layout of cards. Some of these are uh, are just like regular uh, mesas, and the mesas are, are just normal. Uh, the tunnels mean that everybody's cards get play played face down, so you have no idea what other people play. Um, I'm going to shoot at people, because it seems like we're all on top of the trains. Um... Yeah. I wonder what my special ability is. Also, I wonder... Oh, yeah! You can draw new cards instead of playing a card. That's what that is. Okay, I get to move. I'm gonna move in the only direction that I can. And then I'm gonna steal that goddamn gem. Excited about it. I'm gonna beat Crafty Bunny to it. Jesse's not gonna get that gem. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh, that's not good for us. That's that's terrible. Oh no. Oh no. And now I'm gonna try to steal Okay, so that was uh that was the bullet card that got shuffled into my deck. Uh and now I'm gonna try to steal, and there's nothing to steal, because I'm, I'm on top of the car. Uh and then oh fuck, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down into the car and I'm gonna get shot by the sheriff again. Damn it! Uh, so this is, this is how, uh, this is classic though. This is how programming a game plays out. Okay, good and bad. Uh, so I just got punched, which means I lost the treasure that I, uh, that I had, you know, gone to all of the trouble of getting, but I will not be joining the sheriff, at least not yet. I want that briefcase though. That briefcase, I think, is, like, super valuable. Um... Oh, I went down, and now I'm going back up. Okay. I thought I shot at somebody. Oh yeah, there's more cards. Okay, we're not we're not there yet. We're only at the fourth card. Got it. Uh, all right. Well, didn't have enough. Oh no, I'm gonna get punched again. I'm losing all of my cash. I got no cash. Uh, okay. Who can I? I can only shoot uh, Jester. I'm not 100% clear on the shooting rules. There's some element of line of sight, uh, and there's also on the uh, on the top of the train you can shoot further. I think in the train you can only shoot one car either side. <laughs> Is your character Wild West gender swapped you? Yes! Uh, I believe so. I think that's accurate. What is Bell's superpower? Like, now I really want to know this. Okay, I got one card that's totally useless to me. Uh... I am going to... I'm moving. I'm gonna move. I can move three on the rooftops. What is Crafty Bunny doing? I'm I'm going after Jesse. I'm gonna try to get that briefcase back from Jesse. He's got he's got that. He's shooting, which means he's gonna stay where he is. Which is good. So I can move three on the rooftops, I can move over to him, and then uh, and then on my next turn I can like punch him and then steal the money. That's that's my goal. Oh, everybody's shooting. Like I might get shot a lot, but I think there's only five rounds, so...
That is a vicious punch that Bell throws. I'm impressed by that. Okay, so we're in the tunnel, so all the cards get played face down. I don't know where people are. Uh, I don't know what they're doing. Like, they may have moved, or they may do, be doing other things. I'm gonna steal the money, the suitcase. I'm gonna steal the suitcase that I believe is on top of the train car with me. Okay, and then Jesse's going down. Unless he already went down and he's going back up. Okay, and the sheriff moves, so the sheriff might be right here. Uh, so I am not going to climb down. I'll shoot instead because it's really the only thing that I can do. I guess I could have drawn more cards, and maybe I should have. I don't know what this symbol means at the end. Something is going to happen. Uh, and now it's my turn to play, and we're still on this last card, and I... Okay, I don't want to climb down because I think the Sheriff might be there, so I have to draw three cards. Even though I don't think I can use these three cards because we're at the end of the run. Uh, bandits who are inside cars, something, something, something. I don't know, I don't know. Something's going to happen at the end of the run, we'll see. Oh no! Oh no! That screwed up my whole plan! Wait! How did I miss that that's what happened? Is it because he went first and I wasn't paying attention? Damn it! Okay. Uh, so, I can't do that anymore. Here, I'm going to change my whole plan. I'm going to go right here instead of going all the way to the end. And I'm going to punch Doc instead. Okay, Jesse's got nobody to shoot. Which is good for me. And, and Doc has nobody to shoot, but uh, but Bell sure as fuck has somebody to punch. Let's punch. I think gems are worth more, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. And then let's go this way. Oh no! I should have gone. Oh, because it's I, I punched Doc. I should have punched Doc over the sheriff and then hoped that he accidentally went down into the sheriff. That would have been fun. Okay, so, in the interest of fairness, uh, I'm pretty sure nobody else has any idea how to play this game. Uh, so, uh, if I win here, which I may not, because Jesse has, uh, Jesse has the suitcase, which is worth a lot, uh, But if I do win, it's not really that impressive. Who do I want to shoot? Kabam! Kablamo! Okay, Passengers Rebellion. I think that was something about play characters who are inside, something bad happens. I didn't get to read that either, so I don't know what's going to... Passengers, something about the engine, two hundred fifty dollars. So I'm gonna try to get to the engine. I'm also gonna try to get uh, Jesse's suitcase again, which I can do this way. So I'm gonna move over to where he is, and then does he play his first card face down? So I don't know what it is. Yeah, he does. So I don't know. <sighs> I also don't have a punch card, so it hardly matters. Maybe I should actually go here uh, and then go down. I can't go down either, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I took three new cards. I think I did it right at the last minute. So now I have at least some cards that I can do stuff with. I have a punch card, I have an up-down card. I got two steel cards. Okay, but I still don't know where Jesse is. So if Jesse... Oh, but he's... Uh, you know, uh, 
Okay, so if I move here, then I can move down. People could be playing the sheriff, though. That's dangerous. I'm going to cross my fingers. I'm hoping Jesse stays where he is. And then I can punch him, steal his suitcase. That's next. Steal the suitcase. And then go down into the engine car. Because I think maybe I get... Oh! Whoops. Whoops, I wasn't paying attention to how long we had. I thought we had more time than that. We clearly did not have any more time than that. So I did, did I, did I, was that, did I get to steal? Okay, well, this is my only plan, so I'm sticking with this plan. I hope Jesse doesn't, oh good, he shoots, oh good. So that means I still get to punch and then steal, well no, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw cards. But then he draws cards, and then I punch, and then I steal, and I'm going to end up with the suitcase. Yes! Psyched about it. Uh, now, Jester can shoot either one of us, uh, but it doesn't really matter at this point because we're not going to have another hand to play. Yeah! Yeah! Steal that suitcase. Uh, oh god, I hope uh, I hope Jester moved the sheriff. I don't think he did. I wasn't paying attention to that, though. He did! Ha 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 to steal, I'm going to take the, the, the briefcase. Ah, uh, oh, poor Jesse. Poor Jesse. And then I wanted to go down, but I didn't. I didn't have time. But I, did, I, got, the, I got my primary objective. Okay. Ghost, 250. Plus bullets. You get points, I think, for bullets left in your gun, maybe? Anyway, I'm the best, so no surprise there. Uh... Oh, no! No, 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 no! Sorry! You get, point you get extra points at the end if you have shot the most. Uh, so I didn't shoot as much, uh, so I didn't get any points for that. But I still won, and I don't know what this means. Uh, I don't know what any of this means. Whatever. Okay, sweet. Let's take a break. Let's take a break. Just for a minute. <laughs>